What's up, virtual Richards? This week, we're gonna finish cleaning and prepping the frame for paint. So today, we're gonna finish doing some uh, grinding, got the flapper pads, and then we're gonna push it outside, give it a bath, push it back inside, and see what we missed. Yeah, and it is hot today, like real hot, so. It's not that bad. It's over 100. Well, I mean, we're in the shade, though. Yeah, but Plus still. Plus, sprinklers going outside. Over there? Or I'll spray you with the pressure washer. Okay. So Stay anyway. tuned for that. <laughs> yeah. Stick around and see what happens. That side over there is pretty much done. I got to finish this one over here. Yeah. And then also, it's so where we cut the hole out in the frame where the gas tank's going to go. Oh, the yeah. tube for it. Uh -huh. I cleaned up that as well. Let's go check it out. So on that side. But it's, I think I still need to hit it with the old wire brush inside. Yeah, brush. it's not bad. Also got the little uh, hole there. Yeah. Which, well, who knows? Yeah. It's kind of funny, I just see your head. <laughs> I brought the hose and I left it in the sun and you know what sitting in the sun made this nice and warm and flexible hoses and extension cords usually when you flop them on the ground out of just like I did they normally like to just turn into a million knots see what I mean Five, four, three, four, oh. like ten, but yeah. Well, now it's okay. Six, seven, eight, ten. Yeah. Oh. But you don't say ten. But you don't say ten. No, you don't just, say two or one. All right. Well, should we just give her the old hee ho and see if it hits the ditch? Yeah. Uh, it didn't. Line. It didn't hit the ditch. The wheel line. <laughs> you think it'd make it to the wheel line? No. We it hit the ditch before that. Well, yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> that wheel's turned, okay. Yeah. They're both. <laughs> They're both. I was like, no wonder they ain't rolling. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. That turned a lot easier than I thought it was Yeah, well, the, nothing's in the way now. Do not cross this line. All right. Let's hope I can be the brakes. I'm running out of, out of the way. Stop. Stop. Oh, nice. <laughs> Actually, it's perfect. Look at that. Sweet. Sun comes up. It's a brand new day. Gotta roll out of bed. Can't waste away. Boots on the ground. Hat pulled tight. Gonna work that field from morning till night. It's tractor time. Gotta get things done. Wow, that under the rising sun with a John Deere heart and a farmer's pride I'll keep on rolling till the day I die I'm a country boy knowing how nice. to working hard driving my oh, yeah. drive. excellent Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Do you want to do a chain on it or do you want to go around it a couple times with a strap? Let's go around it a few times with a strap. Okay. Just in case it decides to, you know. Yeah. You know. You know those cars that just go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We don't want it to be one of those because I only think we get one. Yeah, we get one good we get one. One good one. <laughs> All right, so Colt picked up some engine degreaser, and he even got some heavy duty yeah, degreaser. It's heavy duty. Heavy no, no, duty. no, sorry, super heavy duty. Super heavy yeah. duty degreaser. Like De degreaser. Degree, like this stuff is top notch. I've used other degreasers. Have you? This one's the best. I've tasted other degreasers. This is the best. That one's got citrus flavor too. Well, I haven't Very tasted it. Very low calorie. Yeah. 
And then we'll do the other thingy. Does it mix up good if you tap it? Oh or? yeah, that's, it even says on the destructions. Usually like I just, you know, like bowl it down and it, just kind of... Yeah. It says bowling or the mamba moves. Like, you know? Yeah, it works. Yep. I don't think it's... So we've hit it with some degreaser, now we're just gonna do our best to wash it off. This is for uh, you guys that like a good sunset. Hopefully that shows up good on the camera. It always looks better in person. So it was hotter than a $2 pistol earlier and now we're in the shade getting ready to cool down a bit. Well, Colt, where Stop. you at? Well, there's a few spots in here. It looks like it's old, uh, like uh, paint and stuff, which is fine. We can leave old paint. Some of this grease on here, uh, we're gonna have to actually like, right here underneath the CV shaft, we're gonna have to like scrape that off or something. I think it's, I think it's good. I'm the world's best backwards driver. Oh, nice. Help us out a little and swing it in. I like it. Uh, Colt's going to park the tractor. We got the frame rolled up over here. Uh, we're going to push it in here in a second and then get it up in the air and hit it with some more primer underneath. While he's gone, though, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give him a shout out. Colt. So we've been at this for a little bit over a year now, and every Sunday he's released a video of uh, us working on this truck and stuff. So a round of applause to him, because he does all the, all the YouTube work and releases videos for you guys to enjoy. So he does a really good job on that. And uh, yeah, so we try to make sure that we get videos out every Sunday uh, for the progress that we've been doing on this. And so far we've won, so we're at like this video, I think he said it's gonna be number 53. So we're just over a year, and uh, or maybe this one's 54, I can't remember. But we're at this over a year now, and every single Sunday we've hit uh, a video that he's released and stuff. And uh, even when we are, we've been on vacation and stuff down in Moab, he's uh, had videos come out uh, ready ahead of time to be released. So shout out to him, he does an awesome job. Aww. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so come, uh... Come paint day, which is in a couple days. We're gonna get it, and instead of picking it up long ways, I think there's a way if we, you know, get the straps and get creative, we can pick it up and put it on its side. I just, these, the problem is these, uh, these running boards, we, there's no way to take them off. And to be fair, there was no way to take them off of the old frame either. They were, they were riveted to the frame. We just welded it, which is kind of like a, my version of riveting. <laughs> Several days later. Uh, Hey, you should come back. With this or just? I, well, I just gotta tell these folks what oh. we're doing. It is that day. We're gonna try to flip this thing over and paint the bottom of it. So we, we still gotta clean it up. Now, our idea is to flip this thing over so it's upside down. It exposes a hole underneath that's really hard to get to. Um, we got these dollies that the cab's on over there. We're gonna pop those off and Slim it on the frame. Yeah. We got some redneck ingenuity that's gonna take place here soon, and we hope it works. It'll work. It's gotta work. It'll work.
Okay, the frame is flipped. It's exactly what we needed. And so now we're going to uh, get some of the parts that we couldn't get that were really difficult and get those. So like under here is a couple of these big chunks. I just want to scrape off real quick. Like anything that's like loose, I want to get chipped. Under there it's bare, we'll prime. Um, but stuff like this, like this, like that right there, that's undercoating right there. So that's that can stay. This stuff right here, that's grease. You know how greasy that stuff is? So we're just gonna do uh, some more cleanup like that. Then uh, we're good to paint. Now, Connor man is being a champ. What am I doing? Look at this guy. So he's setting up our paint booth. Um, he's gonna aim the door right here so we can roll her in. And uh, I'll have that all ready for you. So anyway, we're gonna do it in real fast speed for you. off grease we scraped off the old stuff we even like put the torch to it to like make sure it was all dry we're gonna get this in there right now get some primer on it and then I gotta go set up the the painting stuff let's do this oh look at that but you need someone as tall as Kalen to hook those in there's no way I can reach that you should have put a little water in here so it'd be like misting us oh uh, okay there you go there we go how much further back? You want to go a couple feet? There right you go. there. Okay. That's it. All right. Right side down for me. I mean, yeah. We had a visitor stop by, and as she was here, she found a new shop pet. You got a name for it? Not yet. You know if it's male or female? It's okay to do a male I, or female name. I have no idea on that. Yeah. It's just Primantis. <laughs> yep. 
hope she didn't have to with that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> you gotta find like a, a good name that would be good for both like male or female so that way it'd be like... I don't know, it was waving. It was waving. So is that what we're going with? If it's a boy, Jethro. If it's a girl, Jethreen. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you got anything to add, Con Man? Uh, here. No, that's all yours, man. That's your new. That's the shop pet. It's like a filter. <laughs> that's the shop pet. Chassis black. Chassis black. Under gloss body coating is ready to go. It says step one: service must be clean. We did that. Can be used. Blah, 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 lots more words. And it says, uh, do not use over self-edging. Yeah, we read that. And I'm here. Spray on, oh, stir one minute before use. Two coats primer, two coats chassis black. Can also be brushed on. Mm. So, Hard hey, we're gonna, places. we gotta plug that in and see how bad it leaks air. And I gotta set to 40 PSI. I got my, I got dad opening up the paint can down here. I'm opening up so a can. He's going to put a whole can. I, I don't know, the whole can. <laughs> I'm opening see. it. Oh, look at that. Hey. Wow, almost one full can. I've never done, I don't know, PMA. There we go. It is warm. I'm pretty baked right now, <laughs> like in an oven. But the first coat's on, got the whole bottom. Now the, we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna paint the top side uh, next time. So right now, get the good coat on the bottom, a good two coats on the bottom, let that all dry. These are like, this is probably the best thing we did. Oh yeah. Cause initially we were gonna like, just try to raise it up a little bit and then paint underneath. But like this, I'm getting all these angles and stuff that'd be very tough to get right now. So I don't know how painters do it, right? They do it for a living. I don't know how they do that. If you paint a car professionally or if paint cars or, or things like that in the past, like my hat's off to you. Like that's, that's not easy work. It, even like the prep was. Oh yeah, the prep was insane. The prep took us a while too. So anyway, this gonna dry and then uh, we'll get in there for round two. One week later. <laughs> A little tight. <laughs> All right, so we push the frame in here, and I got a. a Kind of wipe some of this down because it just, uh, there's some dirt and stuff we don't want on here. Gotta wipe it down. And after that, it's ready to go. But there's like, there's a couple spots where there's like dirt like this. See that? 
just from uh, when we washed it upside down. Some of that ran over to this side. Now I've got to get this undone and just kind of let it dangle. So that way I don't have to like try to tape it up out of the way. Now I want to get these CV shafts out so I can get that lower control arm painted. But we can't find the darn socket for it. And it's, it's a good sized nut that's on this. Check this out. Thing's huge. You need to get this feather off. So, anyway, my dad's looking for a socket. And if he doesn't find them, then we might be painting these another day. But I'm still painting part of the frame today. That is, that is happening for sure. back which is great so we're gonna try that out and we're gonna see what socket best fits the thing to pull out the thing so they say it's a 35 wow and it zinged it off quickly we got the CV shafts out and we scraped the grease off cleaned it up so they are ready to be hit with the paint here we go That's cool. I didn't practice that and I still caught it. <laughs> so we have put two nice coats on the frame and now we're just cleaning out the gun. Um, did you get new rims, Kalen? Um, yeah, the other day. It's weird. I forgot, so you know how sometimes you forget you order things and yeah. they just show up? It was one of those. You ordered a, an exact yeah. black, This it looks almost as black as the paint we put on the I frame. I was trying to go, I really like that color yeah. so much, those are the ones I chose. Mm. Oh, it's just, it, it just looks close. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so now we're just letting this dry for a few minutes, and then we're going to uh, roll this out, take down our little bouncy house, and uh, push it in. The duct tape wheel is definitely aftermarket. You have to special order those. <clears throat> if you want to know where... To get him, uh, just write Colt a message. He'll show you where to get him. All right, everyone, check this out. The frame is in here. When I painted my Ranger, I should have called you. It, although my Ranger was only a $12 paint job. Wow. Like rattle cans. Gotcha. I, I, I bought 12 cans. <laughs> wow. Yeah. $1 each. Yeah, they're like 98 cents a piece. It's like a dollar an hour. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a picture of it and you can... It turned out pretty good. I bet, dude. And then it lasted for a few months and you got to buy another can for touch-ups here and there. Okay, next week, we are going to start on the front differential. We got to get this front differential cleaned uh, and a different gear set in it. Yeah, so it's a GM, I'll tell you about it later. You know what, you guys are probably, you've already watched enough of this stuff, you know? Yeah, I've been watching the paint dry. <laughs> watching the paint dry, I've been watching, I've inhaled some paint. Mm -hmm. 